Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Kim, America's holistic foot doctor. Recently, I had a patient in my clinic with a huge thorn trapped in his toe caused by gardening outside without shoes. Painful. Please watch to the end when I show you my number one trick to remove any foreign object from any place of your body, including your feet, without leaving home. Let's get right into it. We have Andrew here. Andrew, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> He's lying. He's not doing that good. He, you were doing uh, gardening, right? Yes. On your sandals, and then you got, you got poked by the uh, thorn. thorn. Yes. Thorn went inside, and then got uh, most of it came out, but something got stuck in there, right? Correct. Yeah. And then now this whole area is very painful and swollen, and you can tell this is infected right here. So we have to drain it. We have to find hopefully that source probably has a cyst around it. Your body's trying to seal it and trying to push through, but it can't come out. So now this area right there, as you can see, that's the infected area that we need to drain and get them all out. So there's two ways to do it. One is to cut right on top and then take it out, which is easier for me to do, but more painful for Andrew here. So I decided to go underneath here, see if I can get that from underneath. That's kind of my goal. So hopefully he'll be able to enjoy his enjoy his Christmas with his family, right? Correct. Correct? Yes. Okay, so now I'm underneath this one. You okay? You feel anything? No. No, Not good. Yet. Good. Not yet. Oh, so sorry to interrupt. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, please leave the word thorn in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Oh, guess what? Came out. It's coming out. Wow, look at this thorn. I didn't know what was gonna come out, but look at this thorn right in there. Uh oh, let's go back in. I'm gonna have to use my fingers. When I free that up, the whole thing. Oh, yeah. You see that thorn right there? Oh! Lost it there, but it's here now. That little thing right there. That was killing you. So now I think you may be able to have a really good Christmas. Yes. Because we didn't have to open. I thought I had to go drain the whole thing. I'm going to clean it out though, okay? But uh, I thought you had a big cyst in there and that would, that would create problems. But I was still going to clean it out. But you can see the thorn here. That's amazing, huh? Wow. Congratulations, Andrew. You don't have to do as much as I thought we had to do. Yeah. It looks pretty clean now, actually. That little thing, that little thing was in there. I'm just gonna go in there to make sure nothing else is left in there, okay? Andrew just told me before we start filming that he was afraid that he was gonna, not gonna be able to enjoy the Christmas, but looks like, looks like he is. So I'm going on there and to make sure nothing's left in there, which I see nothing left in there. So I think it's, I think it's a great day for Andrew. Right, Andrew? Can't you happy wrong. now? Can't go wrong with Dr. Kim. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's trying to be nice to me now. <laughs> he wasn't earlier. <laughs> no, he's always a nice guy. Wow, very good. Now that the whole thing's gone, it's very nice. That's a short video, but there you have it. Thank you for allowing us to film you today, Andrew. No worries. Thanks for taking care of me. Thanks for watching this video. This patient is from Samoa and he doesn't like to wear shoes for any occasion, including gardening. Well, I'm from the island of Guam too, so I completely understand. I don't like shoes that much. I love sandals. Obviously, I recommend you wearing shoes while gardening outside to prevent this from happening. However, if it does happen, if you have a thorn or glass or something like that embedded into any part of your body, including your feet, 
then you need to use this tip I'm gonna tell you right now to save you from a lot of pain or even trip to my office. First, I get a bucket or basin of warm water and add Epsom salt into it. For how much? Every bottle of water, warm water, you will put one tablespoon of Epsom salt. Obviously, if you get a bigger basin, you're gonna to have to put more Epsom salt making sure that it's not burning the area because if you put too much Epsom salt, that's what may happen. Then you would add a half cup of baking soda and make it a little bit soupy, a little bit thicker of the water. Then you would drop a few drops of lavender, peppermint, or tea tree oil as an antiseptic to prevent infection and then mix it all up. Then you're ready to soak the area or put the finger on it, put the toe in there for a minimum about 30 to 40 minutes, maybe longer, sometimes like an hour, two hours, and you have to patiently wait for this thing to slowly push out of this area. And then when you see the tip of it, whatever it is, then you can use a tweezer. A lot of times, lo and behold, they have just come right out without you feeling it anymore. So I've used this method many, many times in the past. For my son, I have a 12 year old son who is very active and he's playing soccer and doing a lot of things. So he's always outside playing and then he would get something stuck in his finger or toe or the bottom of the foot. And when I use this method, it just comes out without giving him pain because he's, he's in so much pain, he won't let me touch it, right? So I highly recommend you use this method first before you go to an urgent care or to a different doctor. For more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I post educational or procedure videos just like this one every Sunday. See you next week.